On the left side of the LCD screen of the AFC, the top button will be the auto alignment or tracker. If the button is blue, that means it is functioning on low sensitivity. If the button is pink, that means it is functioning on high sensitivity. By pressing and holding this button, the auto shock can be turned on and off. Below the auto alignment, you will find the anterior to posterior view or jump button. Below that, you will find the auto focus for the AFC. And the fourth button down, you will find the blink detector. When these functions are activated, their symbol will be illuminated around the N located on the bottom left corner of the LCD screen on the AFC. On the right side of the LCD screen on the AFC, you will find first the lens compensation button. This can be changed from zero, which would take care of patients with a refractive error of a negative 13 to a plus 15. A plus, which is for patients with a plus 15 and a quarter and higher, and a negative, which is for patients minus 13 and a quarter and higher. Change the compensation lens depending on the refractive error of the patient. Below that, you will find the small pupil function on and off button. The small pupil function will go on automatically, but this button can be used for manual override. Below that button, you will find the anterior images, and below that, you will find the stereo pairs. Around the joystick, you will find the infrared adjustment, the flash adjustment, the chin rest adjustment, the fixation button, the fine focus wheel, the manual jump toggle, the joystick, the clear button, and the lock and brake. On the Canon camera, the on and off switch is located on the back side, and the power source is located on the bottom.